bottom line has been increasing 10 to 15 percent since we switched over to power mill. We started in uh, 1954. We've been around uh, in the automotive mold building industry since then. During the financial crisis of 2009, we had to really make some changes and decide how we could move forward. My name is Taylor Lohr. I am Dave Lohr's son. I am a machinist here at Precision Mold and Machining Services. Here we focus mainly on plastic injection molds for the automotive industry. However, we're expanding to other industries such as aerospace, medical, defense. We have transformed into a machining service company. We provide five axis and three axis design, machining, and EDM. We have been getting rid of our older equipment and replacing them with five axis DMG machines. And we've switched from our CAM software that we've used since 1990 to Autodesk. I've been using Power Mill for about a year now. There are a lot of other companies that don't use new machining strategies. They stick to their old ways. We like to expand on that and really push our machines and the software to its abilities. I've been using power shapes since maybe 95. I make the uh, file for them to use to cut. They bring it into power mill. A couple clicks in here, you got it going. It's certainly a lot easier to use and way more efficient than our previous source. Autodesk has made it simple to visualize how everything works, a lot simpler than things have been in the past with other softwares. You look back five years ago and it was a dying industry, but now it's bounced back and I think Autodesk is on the right track of building the future workforce to live up to their slogan of the future of making things. Mm -hmm.